Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Please tell me if the game's too loud. I think it should be fine. Okay, so I played the demo. Is our date? Nope, our date is not here. So we're just gonna. S Oops, no, I don't want to exit the game. I just got it. Okay, we're just gonna like speed, speed run. Whoa, first time running the game, achievement unlocked. Play in English, achievement unlocked. Wow, two achievements just for starting the game. Okay, we already know what happens here. Where's the skip button? Oh, here we go. You're not allowed to stay here. Go back home. I don't care about you guys. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, no. And that's, that's chapter one. Of course, this kind of drags on for well. Okay, so this is where it ended last time. Just save it just to make sure. Basically, they're crying because we're telling them to go home, and they're at their wit's end trying to convince us, the main character, who I forget the name is. Kasho, that's her. That's his name? I totally forgot. And then we allow them to stay. Wow. Plot. Okay, so this is where it ended last time. Oh wait, you guys can't see this because, uh... The way they- Oh. Wow, the game crashed! Whoa, I can't believe it. This is the best game ever- Whoa, hello? Hello? My mouse stopped working. Whoa. This game's obviously a virus! Okay, there we go. My mouse is working again. Alright, let me just try again. Let me see if I monitor cap- no, wait, hold up. Let me window capture it for you, let me see if you guys will see that video. Uh, okay. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. Oh, I don't want you guys to see the mouse, that's gonna ruin everyone's immersion. There. No, I, I just wanted to load. I. Alright. So if you game capture, for some reason this doesn't show up. I guess it's the way they render it. Read that. Not even a full English translation. Spoilers, there's more than two characters.
I got an achievement again. Alright, if I remember correctly, auto mode. Auto play. I am not. Please. Stop fooling around. That's the uniforms we gave them? What kind of shop are we running? Uh, yeah, it looks really good. Although, it was last minute. I'm glad that we found something decent. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Stop it. Okay, this is still too fast. Let's do it on. Sorry about that. Ah, it looks good on you too, Vanilla. I'm counting on you too, you know. Sure, energetic. I looked at the frolicking cat girls out of the corner of my eyes as I wiped the trays. We open tomorrow, huh? The necessary ingredients were already in the refrigerator, and the decorative plants. Sort of... Wow, why does this move so fast? Am I just a slow reader? This game's making me feel stupid. Uh, this is the setting for it, right? What the heck? I didn't have a problem last time. Maybe... Maybe this helps too. Well, I do have it on auto mode. Is, is auto mode not autoplay? No, text display- what the heck? That's not what I want to click. Oh, so okay. I reached for the business cards that have just arrived that morning. Okay, that's a bit normal. True, that would be, be a pain if I was in some sort of strange business or something. Calm down. Don't 
Uh, it would be nice if everything went like that. I rub the high spirited chocola on the head as if that dream had already already been granted. If she was already this genuinely happy about things, I began to feel like it all might go well. It really was reassuring to have someone else here all along with me. I found myself thinking about that all again. Oh, what's wrong with Ella? Uh, I don't mind. It was rare for Vanilla to want something like that. But I imagine even cat girls like to have mementos. I had several hundred cards, so it really wasn't a big deal. Okay, I had a lot made, so go ahead and take however many you'd like. Hey, wait, you can't take all of them! That's not what I meant by take however many you want. I watched Chocolate take the box and go. Maybe Japanese was hard for them to understand. Or English. <laughs> that direct translation. cats. That was how I felt, watching those two get so engrossed in a regular cat toy. Well, it did say go ahead, so for now, I'll just let them play. Hmm, where can I find a book on cat girls? As I looked around the store, an apron-clad shop clerk came up to me. Do you have any books on raising cats? The humanoid kind. Wow, there sure are a lot of books in Cat Girls. I was so taken aback by the tightly packed amount of books on the Cat Girls, my thoughts happened to slip out. A Cat Girl's feelings, education, full speed or not. I didn't understand the last one, but in any case, there were a lot of books. でも結局猫それぞれなんですよね。人型猫は言葉でコミュニケーションが取れますし、ちゃんと話をしてれば大丈夫ですけどね。あちらの猫ちゃんたちのご主人様ですか? Oh no, they're my little sister. They're Oh, my little sister is their own. Wait, no, I am their owner. I thought it should be the I don't know why auto modes me. Maybe I can just do manual. I just don't want you guys to hear me clicking the mouse. I don't think you guys can. Here, let me do that. But to be able to say that I was their owner was also something that made me a bit happy. I would say it was a part of my caring personality. A wry smile forward my face as I watched the two of them frantically slap the cat toy from a distance. Wait, they're still doing that? The shop clerk came back and handed me a book. Cat Girls, you're one to adulthood. もうあれだけ手がかからないなら、買い方というよりは猫の特性を学ばれた方がいいと思いまして。今さら言葉とかトイレ、お風呂の教え方なんて必要ないと思いますし、これから性猫になるにつれて。What? I don't need to know any of that stuff. Right, that wouldn't be important. I rapidly flipped through the pages. Eating habits to promote growth. 
mating season, stable period during pregnancy? What? Catgirl training, way to deal with catgirls, catgirl personalities, schooling? We cover topics all the way to athletic competitions involving catgirls. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Stares from others in the store were piercing me at once again. There's no way I could get angry at their innocence either. Please try to understand my situation. In any case, why don't we go that way? There should be some medicine over there. I just need to know what it does before I even do it. Because this is going straight to YouTube and I don't I don't need to ruin it if it's something dumb. It's just some household medicine. Thanks for your concern. I calm down the concern, Chokla, who is right up in my face. Household medicine is the kind of medicine you buy, just in case something happens at home. That time wasn't normal. Chocolate, or Chocola is a cat girl too. If you only have a slight cold, then medicine from the local store should be more than enough. She picked up various medicine boxes and looked at them with an admiration. On that note, was it okay for cat girls to take regular human medicine? A while ago, I saw that she, uh, Shigure had some medicine that said ship or something on it, but... Yeah, that's about right. I answered her vaguely. Well, Chocla hasn't been to a hospital for humans before, after all. It's alright as long as she understands more or less what they are. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Before I realized it, Vanilla had vanished. Wasn't she the one who wanted to go to the drugstore? By over there, do you mean outside of the store? I turned to where Choco was pointing and saw that she was pointing outside. All of a sudden, Vanilla came back inside the store. Huh? Vanilla? Where'd you go? No, I mean you clearly came from outside of the store just now. I pointed toward the sign for the restrooms inside the store. There was no reason for Vanilla to lie, though. Wait, she's a cat, so does it mean that she... Could it be that you didn't know what a restroom was and went outside to... No! Just tell me what you were doing! Yeah, that's true, huh? There's no way that would be the case, right? Uh, so, sorry. Vanilla's face was red with rage as I earnestly apologized. So that's how Vanilla looks when she gets angry, huh? It's difficult to make sense of a cat girl's pride. It's going to be a tall order, so I'm counting on you two. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
don't listen to her. That's a bad idea. We're not that kind of restaurant. Stop it. That's right. Just for the record, this isn't that kind of bakery, okay? That's exactly what I just said! I really am the main character. What good is if a customer walks into a bakery and you recommend cakes to them? Well, that is true, but... While I was making preparations for tomorrow, the poster girls were off to the side practicing greetings. I thought I heard them say they were going to help earlier, but... oh well. Well, what I was doing could be done by one person for now, at least. Hmm. So that's it. I had a taste of the custard I'd just made. There were no clumps, and the taste was uniform. The sweetness was superb, too. Now then, next, I need to work on the pie dough. Do you two want to have a taste? I handed the custard-covered spatula over to them. Just custard. I'm going back to work. No. No. Dang it. Okay, this is the last one, okay? This time I gave each of them a small spoon. Fast, just like a cat. The two of them were wholeheartedly licking their spoons. Well, I suppose their straightforwardness was sort of cute. Well, even though I did ask for assistance, you two are just cat girls after all. Uh. Did I do something? Oh, what? Happy New Year for the East Coast. I hear lots of fireworks outside. Don't jump up like that all of a sudden. It's dangerous. Hey, Vanilla, don't just go and take more of yourself. That's a lot more than a mere taste. That's not the point. Stop! Vanilla, let go of me. Alright, alright, I'll make it. Oh no. I hope this doesn't become a mess. It's vanilla bean. The customers aren't hamsters, you know.
Oh, wait, please. Please. Oh, time to get in the bath. That's why I told him not to open your eyes. I'm going to wash you off again. You reap what you sow, right? Come on, close your eyes. I washed all the milk and fresh cream off chocolate and vanilla in the shower. It's a small blessing that the damage was just limited to you two, huh? Although, cleaning the bakery up did take a lot of effort. Now that you mention it, that's true. Come on, you get that for opening your mouth. Just keep quiet for a bit. When they were young cat girls, I did occasionally bathe with them. But once they started matured, I refrained from getting in the bath with them. It wasn't because I felt guilty or anything, though. Ever since they were small, I thought of them like little sisters. Maybe even daughters, in a way. That's the last thing I want to be. Besides, they become more feminine to some degree, too. Wait a minute, they're cat girls. What am I doing? Thinking of stuff like that? Huh? Uh, it's nothing at all. Uh, right. I was just thinking that your hair has gotten longer. Though you two are cat girls, you're also maturing girls as well. Have some shame, at least a bit. You know, this is the last thing we should be talking about in the bath, young lady. Sheesh, you two act like cats only when it's convenient, huh? Come on, I'll wash your heads now. With shampoo in my hands, I went to work in into a lather in their hair. Their hair was beautiful and free of split ends thanks to Shigure's constant care. Even to the untrained eye, I could see the merit in having them grow out their hair. I'm not looking at you in any way. Your eyes have been closed the whole time, though, Vanilla. Besides, to think I'd lust for cat girls like you two? When you're just like troublesome daughters to me? I probably shouldn't have said that. Yes, yes, it's my honor. Pleasant thoughts floated through my head as I stroked through the- Wait, what kind of pleasant thoughts? The idea- Oh, the idea of taking care of cute daughters didn't sound so bad to me. After all, even Shigura used to constantly follow me around long ago. I suppose it's okay for me to say I'm rather good at taking care of others. Come on, while I'm washing your hair, you better make sure to wash the rest of you too. Don't forget your tails either. <laughs> I already have my hands full with washing your hair. Yeah? Why don't you do that? I'm gonna pour water over you again, okay? Close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath. 
你说你，我说多可怜。Okay, okay, you're up next. It was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As I carefully washed their hair, that thought crossed my mind. Okay, finally, we're done with that part. Okay, looks like the sponge cake dough has a good consistency. I cover the bowl of dough with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. It's not like we'll have a packed house on an opening day. So, this much dough should be enough. All that was left was to be prepared for when the bakery actually opens. Okay, the only thing that still needs to be done is to cut up the fruit for the toppings and then I'm done. I stretched and then looked at the clock. The hour hand had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Chocola, vanilla, I'm almost done, so you two can go sleep first. Huh? Oh, they're already sleeping. Well, good! looked over my shoulder to see the two of them sleeping, fitfully on the sofa. They leaned against each other, cozily, smiling as if in the middle of a wonderful dream. And they said they'd be awake until I finished. They've been full of activity since the morning, so they were probably exhausted. I crouched down and poked both their cheeks- why would I be doing that? Chocolate and Vanilla were one step ahead, acting as waitresses in their dreams. It sounded like they were in a rush, as if La Soleil, if that's how you pronounce it, was packed. They really are still children, aren't they? They were cute, like children, excited before the start of a trip. I gently rubbed them both in the head, and the sweet smell of their, their leave-in hair treatment tickled in my nose. Come on, you two. You can't sleep here, okay? You're going to bed. You guys have weird images of me. What are you two talking about? It didn't look like they had any intention of waking up. Without any other choice, I picked them up one at a time and carried them to the bedroom. You two really are a handful. Literally. I cover the two closely curled up cat girls with a blanket. Once more, I gently rub their heads before I quietly close the bedroom door. Okay, just one last bit. Alone in the living room, I stretched and took a deep breath. I need to work even harder tomorrow, for chocolate and vanilla sake too. 
As I remember the names of my precious family members, I stretch my hands out and continue my preparations. Is that it? That was very tame. Nekopara. Wait, wait. It's only been five minutes since we opened. Two of them hid by the window, as if stalking prey. Even though we're finally open, there were unsurprisingly no customers waiting to come in. I placed my elbows on the counter while I gazed at the back of the backs of the two cat girls. It's fine if you wait for the customers to come in before interacting with them. If you brace yourself like that from the start, you'll get the tired quickly. Not that she can hear you. The two cat girls did this so much as turn an ear in my direction. Well, to see them that hopeful for customers did pain me a bit as their owner. Well, since we just started, we should be patient. First customer it is! Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, what a wreck. Will you two calm down? I pulled them back after the qu they quickly set themselves upon the customer who just walked in. I'm terribly sorry for that. I'm the owner of this bakery. Mina Duke. Oh, Mina Dukey? Is that my. <laughs> I guess what's my, uh. Sure name. 